Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Chic Cottage. Today we're going to talk about what is design space and what do you use it for and how do you learn how to use it. Now this video is sponsored by Cricut, however all projects and opinions are my own. So let's just start at the beginning. What is Cricut Design Space? So Cricut Design Space is the only program that you can use to communicate with your Cricut machine. And it does work with any Cricut machine. So I have a few different machines out here, but any Cricut machine it will work with. At least the latest releases. So it works with the Joy series, the Maker series, and the Explore series. Now, if you get built for the Explore series, those older Cricut machines, like say the Expression, are actually not supported any longer. So they don't, do not work with Cricut Design Space. So just so you know, if you picked one up, like off Facebook Marketplace or something, it was an older machine, it may actually not be supported any longer. So you can get Cricut Design Space for desktop or for mobile, works on PC, Mac, iOS, Android, any of the above. You just look for Cricut Design Space and it is a free program to use. When you get a new Cricut machine, you actually get a free trial to something called Cricut Access. Cricut Access is the subscription service that allows you access to Cricut fonts, images, and projects. Now, you don't have to have Cricut Access to operate your Cricut machine. Cricut Design Space is 100% free and you can use it to upload your own designs or design right in the app with like your own fonts, shapes, that type of thing. Anything that's free within Cricut Design Space can be used without a Cricut Access subscription. So although you get that free trial, you do not have to use it after that, but I highly recommend using the free trial to give it a try and see if Cricut Access is for you. You might find that it's totally worth the monthly fee to get Cricut Access and use all those images, fonts, projects. So there's actually over 200,000 images at this point in Cricut Design Space in tons of fonts, ready to make projects where you just click a button and you make your project. So all of those things come with your Access subscription. So you may find that it's worth it just to do access and that way you don't have to upload your own designs. You just search for it right there. You pull it up, you click make it and you're ready to go just that easily. So you may find it a little bit easier and more convenient and you may find that Cricut Access is the solution for you. If it's not, no big deal. You just use Cricut Design Space to communicate with your Cricut machine for free without having that subscription. And actually, something a lot of people don't realize is you can download Cricut Design Space at any time. You don't even have to have a Cricut machine. So I often recommend that to people that are looking to get a Cricut machine and they're wondering if it's gonna to be too confusing for them. Download Cricut Design Space, start playing around. Do you like it? Are you ready to get your Cricut? It might answer those questions for you. Another function of Cricut Design Space that you might use it for and don't even have a machine is to register products. So if you have something like a Cricut Easy Press or a Cricut Mug Press, you can register your products right in Cricut Design Space. So just download the app, click register, and get those products registered right on the app. So I like to think about Cricut Design Space as a place to find, upload, and design projects. So you can do all three, right? So I talked about how there's tons of images and projects right in Design Space. So you can just use it to find those, click make it, and you're ready to create. You can also upload your own or upload files that maybe you found on the internet. So you upload those, then you click make it, and then you're off and running. You can also use Design Space to design your own projects, whether that's using fonts that are already on your device or computer, or whether that's using things like the shapes or free images that are in Design Space. You can use all of that to design your own projects, then click make it, and you're ready to create. So after you click make it, what happens? Cricut Design Space is the program that communicates with your Cricut machine. So it sends all that data to cut your file, to cut your image, to cut that font to your Cricut machine. So it is a software that communicates with your Cricut. So once you click make it, you do things like pick your material options. Then Cricut Design Space helps your machine to know what pressure it needs to cut at in order to cut that material. And then it'll do things like tell you what blade to use and maybe even special notes that you didn't even realize you were supposed to do, like mirror your design when you're using iron-on. So it gives you all those reminders right in Cricut Design Space. So hopefully you won't forget, but we all make mistakes and forget sometimes, right? 
I talked about Cricut Design Space as a way to communicate with your Cricut machine to communicate what to cut, but it'll also communicate with your printer. So you can use your printer in conjunction with your Cricut machine to do print and cut. Now the Cricut Joy doesn't do print and cut, but the rest of the Cricut machines do. So Cricut Design Space will ask you to send it to your printer first, and then it will communicate that information to your Cricut machine after you put that printed page on the mat and all of a sudden you're cutting out things that you printed. So just another function of your Cricut machine to use and a way that Cricut Design Space helps you to do that. Now I talked about Cricut Design Space being the only way to communicate with your Cricut. There is actually one other way if you have a Cricut Joy. Cricut Joy does have its own app and you can use it for simple projects. It is definitely not as robust as Cricut Design Space. It's intended more for like creating on the go when you just have something quick that you wanna make a label for, then you can use that with your Cricut Joy. So I do have a ton of videos on YouTube. So I'm gonna list a ton of information in the description below. So if you are on a computer, there should be something that says show more below this video. If you're on mobile, you might swipe up or there might be an arrow to expand the description. And then you can see a ton of links. So what kind of links am I gonna give you? I actually have a free seven day Cricut course that will walk you through how to use Cricut Design Space and I'm gonna to link to that below. I have a one hour crash course that's perfect for those that just wanna watch one one hour video and know everything there is to know about how to use Cricut Design Space. And I'll link to that below as well. I'll link to the video about the Cricut Joy app, just in case you have the Cricut Joy and are curious, never even heard of another app to use your Cricut machine, that might be the video for you. And then I'll list a few more videos as well, just to get you started with your Cricut machine. So whether you are just breaking it out of the box or whether you're here wondering if you need a Cricut at all, or you're thinking, do I need to pay a monthly fee once I buy my Cricut? I hope this video answered those questions. And just to reiterate again, so I get questions every single day about whether there is a monthly fee to use your Cricut. No, Cricut Design Space is a free program and you can use it without paying any monthly fee. You can upload your own designs without paying any monthly fee. The monthly fee is only if you wanna to subscribe to Cricut Access and with that, you get their images, fonts, projects. Those are the things you're gonna get with your Cricut Access subscription. And then you get like a percentage discount, which is nice if you're gonna be buying those materials, free shipping, that type of thing. I personally love my Access subscription, but I definitely think it is a thing that each person should weigh on their own. Is it right for the type of craft where you are? Weigh those options, decide whether Cricut Access is for you. But I hope this video helped you know what Cricut Design Space is and make some of those decisions. Now, if you have any questions about Cricut Design Space or anything else we covered, please drop it down in the comment section and ask away. If you like this video, learn something new, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have videos like this every week and trust me, you don't wanna miss any of those. So thank y'all so much for joining me and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.